Welcome students. Our today's topic is ocean zones. So here we are going to discuss three different types of zones of the ocean. The first one which is the uppermost zone of the ocean that is euphotic zone and it is goes up till 200 meter of the depth. So if this is a surface of the ocean then if we are taking this 200 meter of the depth then this zone is known as euphotic zone. The second zone is bathyal zone and it starts after euphotic zone it starts from the 200 meter and it goes up till the 2000 meter of the depth. So the second zone which comes after euphotic zone is bathyal zone. Then comes abyssal zone. This starts after bathyal zone it starts from 3000 meter and goes up till the 6500 meter. Now as we are going deeper down into the ocean the pressure will change, the temperature will change and according to that the animals and the aquatic animals who are residing there, their adaptation will also change and those animals will also change because they have to adapt certain feature to adjust themselves in this kind of zones. So let us get into the detail and understand about each zone separately. Hello students, do you want to excel in maths and science? We have some don't memorize courses for you which will help you in your preparation of maths and science. I have given the links in the description. You can avail the 90% of the discount. Don't memorize courses are part of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. So let us take our first zone and that is euphotic zone. Temperature here is 104 to 27 degree Fahrenheit. As we have discussed, the first zone of the ocean is euphotic zone and when starting from the surface when we will go in the depth till 200 meter this zone is known as euphotic zone. Now the animals which we can see in this zones are trout, herrings, dolphins, jellyfish and some of the major coral colonies we can see it here. Now animals, what adaptation they have acquired so that they will survive in this zone so their body is reflecting light away to merge with the shiny water surface. Because this zone is first zone and this starts from the surface so sunlight is maximum over here. So we can see the maximum light effect in this zone so predators will be easily seeing their prey so that they will reflect this light away so that they will merge with the shiny water surface and they will safeguard themselves from the predator and they have sharp vision. Then flora and fauna, maximum 80% of the marine flora and fauna will be able to see in this zone because as we have discussed it is near to the surface and maximum photosynthetic activity we can see in this zone. Among the three zone in euphotic zone the photosynthetic activities are maximum because it is near to the surface where the light is maximum. Our second zone is bathyal zone. This zone's temperature is 39 to 4 degree Fahrenheit. This zone comes after euphotic zone its depth is 200 to 2000 meter and light. So in this zone there will be a complete absence of sunlight because sunlight will not be able to reach till the depth of 200 meter and beyond that. Now the animals living in this zone are red brown calves, sponges, they have big eyes and their eyes are sensitive to dim light. And we can see some of the bioluminous activities in this zone because there will be total absence of the light so whatever light source will be there that comes only from the bioluminous activity. Then comes abyssal zone. This zone's temperature is 2 to 3 degrees Celsius that means it is 36 to 37 degree Fahrenheit and depth is 3000 to 6500 meter. Now animals staying in this zone are deep water squid and octopus. Now here as this zone is the third zone and one of the deepest zone that there will be an absence of photosynthetic activity because there will be a total absence of light and sunlight. Animals are mainly predators and they are scavengers. They have very wide mouth and they have large teeth. So it will be easy for them to catch their prey. There will be an absence of skeleton in the bodies of the animal. 
then animals show bioluminance because as we have seen there will be a total absence of the light so animals will show bioluminance so as we have seen there will be a three zones for the ocean first one is euphotic second one is bathial and third one is abyssal zone as their depth will vary their temperature and their pressure region will also vary and according to all this characteristic of the zone animals have adapted some of the features so that they will get adjusted with this zone and they can live there they can stay there zone wise the animals will differ and their adaptation will also differ so hope you have understood the concept well don't forget to subscribe us for many more such important video if you have any doubt you can comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing